Good first half performance. It just got worse and worse in the second half. Let's take a look at the first two goals then. Uh, the first of them coming just before half time, uh, a half in which uh, Celtic had not played well and maybe this goal was coming, Gordon. Yeah, there was a, a slight gulf between the teams in the first half. Celtic hadn't played that well, but that was poor defending again. Not only for people running off their marker, that's what we found as get more and more as the game went on, but that's a, a classic example of it there. The ball's played wide there. And, and there's a lovely little ball there, but look, there's, there's the goal scorer, he's, he's on his loan, Hallinar gets a hat-trick tonight, he's been brought in to score goals that they've had to replace their top striker, he's away to Austria, and he's got a hat-trick tonight, he gets sent off in his first game, this is the first goal he's actually scored for the club, look at the room he's got at the back post here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but just the pass from Kozak to, to uh, Vasquez there, it's just, Kamara was constantly exposed in that play, I don't yeah. okay, he's getting forward, but his positional sense was very poor there. Yeah, and he's at fault again for the, for the second goal. There, what's the running off the ball here? Look, nobody picking up the run. You know, there's, there's people, there's defenders there ball watching. They're, they're not looking to see the run that comes off. And there's, he gets in at the back post and scores. But I mean, look, look at the run he's allowed to make into that space there. And then getting across, and, and there's Kamara wrong side again, 2 0. And I, I just felt after that, I thought Celtic now do have to get a goal tonight in order to, for the home leg to, to, to have a chance. But then, you know, it just it went from bad to worse after this. It certainly did. He's uh, going in the blind side here. You can see it's a great ball across goal, but Kamara again sleeping, doesn't see the guy coming behind him, and uh, obviously they're punished for it. I mean, it is, it's, it's but it was, it was basic people stuff, it? running off the ball, Dougie, and not being tracked. Just seemed to be running free. They come off the marker, and suddenly they're free. Yeah. And, and that, that happened quite a lot. Even there was other opportunities that they actually missed. Mm. They could have got more goals, but you know Celtic could have got goals too. Well, that's the thing because uh, Sean Maloney had a chance which perhaps he could have done better with, and then there was this astonishing miss by Aidan McGeady from what six six feet out? Couldn't have been any more than that. A couple of paces, really, Derek, wasn't it? Incredible, just bubbles up in front of him. It's just a mm. cruel game, isn't it? I mean, mm. that could have got him right back in the match. Mm. And you can tell by the reaction of his face there that, uh, and to be honest, that summed up the night because it's um, see, it is a cruel game at times. But that's just it. Uh, should be an easy tap in, but. They really do see it happen. We have seen it happen before. It bubbles up in front of him and he puts over the bar. Yeah, so that could have been 2 1. Within a few minutes, it was 3 0. This, once again, the happy Helener. And again, a bad goal from Celtic's point of view. Well, having said that, it was a terrific strike. But again, you shouldn't be conceding goals from that far out. I mean, it was so quick that the Slovakian director missed it. Yeah, it was a strange one though, because it was a corner kick. Celtic had nobody on the post. Mm. Uh, but Helener just pulled himself out to the, the edge of the box was waiting there and nobody's marking him, look, he's totally free, and it's, it's maybe something off the training ground they've done before, but he gets all the time in the world there to get his strike in. His technique is fantastic though, Gordon, yeah. a great goal, can't take away from the boys scoring great strike. from there, yeah. great strike, but there should be somebody out pressing him or you know, put him under some yeah. kind of pressure. So we, we give uh, give uh, Art Media some credit for that one. That was a fantastic strike. But the fourth and the fifth goals were just quite unbelievable from a Celtic point of view. Art Media at this stage threatening to score every time they cross the halfway line. And again, this is schoolboy stuff, isn't it? Yeah, there's enough defenders around about him there. He gets his touch. and he's, he, The thing about this one is he's scrambling to get the ball under control. So that's when you have to go and pressurise somebody. But look at look, look, Kamara just steps off him. You know, where, where, what's, what's Kamara thinking he's going to do there rather than just go and close the guy down? What's he, 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 he takes his first touch. He's not got it under control here. Vargas one side of him. Somebody else has to be in there at the other side stopping him getting shot at him. Yeah, more Kamara's actually pulled to the left-hand side. If he has to go and press the ball and put him under pressure. He has to. Two guys put him under pressure because... You know, you're, you're at the edge of the box here, you know, and it's an opportunity to score from there, and he, he, done, he scored from there. But again, look, acres of space, as, as, as Art Media running, had all night, Running off of people, Dougie, mm. uh, once again there, I mean, a, a simple ball mm. over the top mm. between Telfer and Baldi there, and they, he they, runs through and gets a shot. They had a warning in the first half of the ball over the top of Baldi, and I think by that stage anyway, Celtic had gone, the discipline had gone, their shape had gone, Gordon and I were just stating, talking through the game that they were all over the place by that time, and... Uh, you know, they look tired, but I think when you're getting beat heavily like that, your head goes, your concentration goes, and I'm not making excuses for them, they were poor, very, very poor tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't like to bring up his name just tonight, in, at the moment, maybe shouldn't, but Jackie McNamara, what a loss. Yes. For Celtic, either left back, right back, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, a player, Celtic weren't losing goals like that before. Mm -hmm. A guy who got, got himself in the right position, and, and also communicated with other people in the back four and told them, what they should be doing in the organisation. There was no one seemed to take responsibility there for organising that defence. I don't think we've ever seen Jackie getting caught out with a ball in behind him in there, Gordon, did we? You know, I can't, on I can't the remember side. many no. situations yeah. that he did. A disorganised shambles, I'm afraid, from Celtic's point of view, Gordon Strachan will...